Welcome to the first episode of Design Your Home with Herman's Furniture and Design. I am Andrea Vecchio and I'll be your host. I am really, really excited about this series. Now, if you're somebody who needs to refresh your space, or you love looking at home improvement shows or architectural digest, or you're on Instagram and you can't get enough of luxury home pictures and you think, I can't afford that, I can't do that on my own, or maybe I can, but I really would love to work with a designer. This is a series that's gonna be for you. Now, if I was gonna host the series, I felt like I really needed to come from an authentic place. And to come from an authentic place, I needed to experience what it would be like working with Herman's Furniture on my own. So this could not be more of a personal space for me because you are in my home. So two of my favorite rooms in my home are my bedroom and my bathroom. And so I met with Herman's Furniture and I gave them three guidelines. I want a Charleston look, I want something that looks a little romantic and definitely feminine. I had a bit of a budget to work with, and a lot of people do, and they were willing to work with me on that budget. And the cool thing is, in these rooms, there are pieces of furniture that are beautiful, and I've had them for a long time, and I didn't want to get rid of them. And so the designers at Herman's Furniture said, we're gonna keep some of these awesome pieces as though they were meant to stay in this room, and we're gonna give it a totally different look. Here's my old bathroom. As you can see, it's very bright in here. There's wallpaper covering the entire room. Um, some magnolia pictures hanging on the wall, which we thought might stay for the makeover. And then you head into where the bathtub is, which I love the bathtub, and I love the tree of life that is hanging over the bathtub. And Joe from Herman's Furniture, he loved that too. So we were pretty sure that was gonna stay, but otherwise a total makeover in the bathroom. Here's the bedroom, which is covered in wallpaper, and you look around and you can see all of the furniture that's here. The dresser and the bed I've had since I was three years old. So when I look around this room, I still see a little girl's room, and the goal is to make it seem more like a feminine room. So when I talked to Joe at Herman's Furniture, I said I really am inspired by the look in Charleston. I took a trip there once, I loved the architecture and I loved the design, which Joe does too, lucky for me. So when I see something I love, I know it, but I can't put it together on my own and that's where Herman's was so great and helpful. It's makeover day and my job is to iron the new bed skirt. I'm running into Target to pick up some picture frames while Joe works his magic on my room. I have to tell you, I'm loving everything that he's doing. And the cool thing is, is that he's repurposing some other items from my house. It's, it's really looking like a five-star hotel and I don't have a five-star budget. This is the most exciting part. I cannot wait to show you because I love it so much. <laughs> like. This was beyond my wildest imagination. I could not even conceptualize what ultimately happened in this bedroom. And it's so perfect that I could cry. I mean, I will tell you, when this is redone, every night I would just stand here and look around and be like, this is mine. I almost imagine like that's what parents feel like when they have a baby. They just stare at the baby. So I don't have a baby, so I just stare at my room. So it's amazing and it's really um, even more than I could have hoped for. What Herman's Furniture did to this room, oh, it's so incredible. Out with the old, in with the new. It's so like boutique hotel, right? Doesn't this look amazing? Here is my dresser, which I told you I had when I was three years old. And this was a piece that I wanted to keep. And the designers love this piece too and wanted to keep it. So how gorgeous is that? Like your eye also goes right to this dresser with this um, gorgeous mirror and it's accessorized in such a beautiful feminine way. I mean, I just couldn't be happier. This whole process was so cool because, again, I started with some pictures and some buzzwords like Charleston, romantic, feminine, womanly, um, and then this is what happened. There used to be a desk here where I didn't do very much studying, 
But now um, this space, which I feel like is a space that is sacred to me and where I create things, I'm just a creative person and I can definitely see myself writing my next book in this chair. Shh, it's my spa. <laughs> that was the goal of the bathroom, that I wanted it to feel very spa-like. So this is interesting. I thought I could do a little something on my own, right? I picked out some paint called Softened Green. Softened Green, that sounds so spa-like and pretty, right? So Joe from Herman's Furniture looked at my swatch and said, you know, nice name, but I think it's gonna end up looking way too green in here. And I was like, no, 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 it's gonna be great. Well, the painters put up the paint. I looked at it for three days, hoping it was gonna be a dress that would eventually fit me. You know, ladies, we do that sometimes, right? We find an outfit, we think it's gonna look great on us, it just never does. And that's kind of how I felt about the paint. So we ended up changing it to a Sherwin-Williams color called Grassland, and this is really the perfect color. It is soft, it's very spa-like, and we kept the bathroom simple. My favorite place in the bathroom where I spend or end every night is the bathtub. Um, here's a little fun DIY tip. So I love to take a bath every night and usually with salt or a bubble bath. And this Johnson's and Johnson's <laughs> baby bedtime bath, it's like a lavender scent. This is what I love. But what happened in here with the makeover is so lovely and beautiful and pretty, I didn't think I should leave this out. So I'm very proud of myself because I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I saw this on clearance, this jar, it was a dollar. And then I bought a, a wine stopper, which looks like a crystal wine stopper, and I just put Johnson's and Johnson and Johnson's baby bubble bath right in this bottle. Cheap, and it looks kind of expensive, right? So if you want to watch more episodes of Design Your Home, you know where to find it, hermansfurniture.com. And if you've enjoyed watching this process I've gone through and you want some help, I highly recommend going to see the designers at Herman's Furniture and Design. It is an awesome experience. They make it so fun and easy and comfortable. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. You're gonna be so happy. And hey, if you wanna be featured on Design Your Home, stop in and see the designers at Herman's Furniture and Design.